Today we're jumping into the free videoing editing software. <laughs> All right, welcome back to my channel, guys. My name is Jack. I produce weekly content based around video editing, videography, or how to make money making videos. Subscribe now if you're interested. The title, let me address it real quick. Here on screen is my top search terms. That's like the top five, uh, you know, search, search terms that are bringing in the most views to my channel. YouTube messed it up here. They they completely screwed this up. I think they've made it some uh, like autocorrect thing on YouTube where it autocorrects uh, video editing to videoing editing. It's super weird, but I'm gonna try exploit it in today's video. I'm gonna put it in the title. I'm just gonna make the title that and see if it works. Screw it. I don't even care. I'm just gonna I, I'm just gonna do it and uh, and see how it works out. But that's the explanation for why the title is so weird. I'm basically trying to trick the search results because for some reason there's a weird glitch that auto corrects video to videoing and I'm gonna see what happens if I put it as my title. Now that's out the way, uh, a, a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. We're all on the same page. Let's jump into the best free video editing software of 2018 slash 2019. I'm making this video the last couple months of 2018. So you'll be in 2019 watching this. I see you, how is it? Uh, first off, VSDC video editor. Of course, totally free. Um, it's got a bunch of really advanced stuff uh, called, uh, you know, uh, masking, video stabilization, sort of this stuff that's uh, available in like the top of the top editors. And, uh, you know, it's available in this really free video editor, VSDC. It's got some really cool motion graphics as well, like some presets and stuff like that where, uh, you know, there's a bunch of, uh, you know, uh, graphs and stuff like that that you can use to kind of animate themselves on and stuff like that. And uh, overall, it's really, really good. And I've actually got a complete video where I walked through the entire thing here on my channel from the perspective of editing YouTube videos. And it's actually an amazing editor for YouTube video editing. So I'll leave that link down below. I'm gonna have a solo video for all the editors that I talk about. So if you do pick the editor that you like, you can go to the solo video, which I'm sure the thumbnail is on screen somewhere and the link will be down below to the full video. Um, and uh, I'm gonna be breaking all these editors uh, down more in depth, right? So there will be solo videos linked to them. But VSDC, great editor, really good for YouTube, really good for general video editing, and it's completely free, no watermark, nothing like that. None of these editors have a watermark, don't worry. Shotcut. This is number two. Now, Shotcut was actually number one in my last video that I did on this, but I put video VSDC in here as well. Um, the thing that makes Shotcut so amazing is that it's available on all operating systems. That's what VSDC isn't. It's only on Mac and Windows, right? So Shotcut is available all across the board. You can get it on Linux. You can get it on all operating systems. Therefore, it makes it the most accessible, right? So if you are on Linux, these other less traditional operating systems, uh, by all means, Shotcut is the one for you. And it's also, I'd probably have to say it's the easiest of all of these video editors as well, or the most catered to uh, beginners, right? So if you're a beginner, uh, this is the one I'd suggest to you as well. VSDC as well, uh, uh, if, if, you, if you aren't on Linux, but if you are on Linux, the only one uh, you know that you can get so far is going to be Shotcut. But we do have another one coming up at the end that you can get as well, which is going to be a bit more advanced than Shotcut. All right, but Shotcut again, I do have a full solo video on it as well. Again, I'll link the thumbnail on screen and link the full video down below. So if you've picked that one, you can go check a little bit more out about that one in the you know follow up video. And uh, you know it's a very very fun editor, very catered towards beginners. Like I said, HitFilm. This is exploring the opposite section because this is very catered towards advanced stuff. By, by far, this is the most advanced editor on the entire list. This is HitFilm Express that I'm talking about. Just to specify, there's two types of HitFilm. HitFilm, which is paid, and HitFilm Express, which is free. Pretty much, um, it's very straightforward to get the HitFilm Express. You just gotta sign up and all the links to all this stuff is down below and uh, you know you can get it. But it's not all operating systems, only Mac and Windows. Um, over three million people currently use HitFilm Express actively, right? So that's a bunch of people that are involved in it, that are enjoying it. Um, like I said, it's hands down the most advanced editor on this entire list and it's got a massive back catalog of presets of effects, of transitions, all that sort of stuff. Um, so there's loads of pre-made stuff that you can use with the visual effects and the transitions and the overlays and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, it, 
if you like pre-made stuff and like taking advantage of that sort of stuff, by all means, Hit Film Express has a great library of loads of pre-made stuff which you can use. Finally, DaVinci Resolve. Oh shit, my bad, let me go back. Uh, Hit Film Express, I also got a full YouTube video on that one. God damn it. Um, I've also got a full YouTube video breaking that all down. That's linked down below in the description. So if you like the sound of Hit Film, by all means, check that one out. In fact, I got two videos on Hit Film. One breaking down the basics, one breaking down the advanced stuff. So I'll leave both of those down below. DaVinci Resolve, the final one. Sorry to jump around a little bit, but I had to go back and tell you about that YouTube video because that's gonna provide a lot of value to somebody. Like, um, it, it just definitely will. DaVinci Resolve is awesome. It's available on all operating systems. Uh, again, so this is the other one which is available on all operating systems. It is amazing for color grading and color correction. It is really talked about in the industry as like a, you know, really a, a phenomenal color, uh, you know, abilities to actually kind of bring, bring the most out of your um, edits. And people actually go from like a super professional editor, like, you know, Premiere or something like that, which also offers really nice color modes. Um, and they actually decide to go the extra effort and export and then take that into DaVinci Resolve and do all the color grading in there and then bring it back to do the final edits just because the color abilities of uh, DaVinci Resolve are phenomenal. Hands down, I heard about DaVinci Resolve um, because of the color grading long before I ever considered it as a video editor that I would use myself or anything like that. But on top of that, it's got so many advanced effects and it is pretty similar to Hit Film in the regard that it has a bunch of pre-made stuff, whether it be 2D and 3D presets, to advanced visual effects, to um, transitions, to uh, all this, uh, you know, motion graphics, stuff like that. A whole bunch of pre-made stuff, pre-made video assets that you can use to improve your projects and uh, save you a bunch of time that you don't have to be creating all these from scratch. But thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed, I've been Jackarus Jack Cole. Subscribe now for uh, you know more video production themed content literally every single week, whether it be video editing, videography, or how to make money making videos. Those are the topics we're going to be covering. Similar stuff to that. If you like the sound of this, um, by all means, uh, you know, indulge. Um, if you've made it to this point in the video, guys, I'm going to link you to my previous um, video that's similar to this, which was the top three best free video editing software of 2018. That video will start playing right after this. So if you want a little bit more info uh, on these editors, by all means, check this out. It's got over 200,000 views. It's my most viewed video on the whole channel. Um, and uh, you know, it's really good video, really helpful. And if you like this one, you enjoy that. But uh, you know, if you are done with this video, check out the um, links to the previous, or uh, not the previous, the individual videos breaking down all of these individual video editors if you've chosen it. So if you've chosen VSDC, go down below, get the VSDC tutorial. You chose Shotcut, get the Shotcut tutorial, so on, so on. But either do that or watch this one that's coming. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day and goodbye.